Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to something new here on the channel. Um, I've never done this before. I've never played, well I played this uh, this tier a little bit today, but uh, today we're bringing you a uh, metagame of the month. Now what Smogon does is that every month uh, they create a new metagame and they toy around with the way uh, the programming works in that tier and they come up with amazing new stuff every month uh, to try out uh, to see what kind of uh, Pokemon would be viable if certain things were to happen so uh, we're playing enchanted items what this is is basically as you can see my Heracross is holding a dust ball my Tornadus and Adamant Orb I'll go over uh, every set in a bit but uh, it basically makes it so that uh, every respective item uh, has a an ability attached to it basically giving every Pokemon the ability to run a uh, a second ability instead of running an item so it's really really cool and uh, we're gonna be trying out this team I've I tested a little bit out on, on the ladder uh, up until now got a couple of points I changed it up a bit originally there was the sand core of Hippowdon and uh, Excadrill on here Hippowdon was regenerator and um, Excadrill was uh, Mold Breaker and Sand Rush, which is really cool, be able to break like Rotom and stuff like that. Uh, so that was kind of, uh, it was funky, but I found that I was really weak to Ice types, so I decided to swap it up a little bit. Uh, so the first Pokemon we have here is uh, Dust Ball Heracross. This is, uh, if you guys saw the team name, it's called um, uh, Zerolion Sharkross. Uh, Heracross is basically a speed boost Moxie Heracross with close combat, Stone Edge, Megahorn, and Knockoff. I swept an entire team with this thing. It's crazy. You get a Moxie boost after knocking something out, and you get a speed boost. This thing is insane. It's unstoppable. Uh, I'll go over uh, some of the best Pokemon in the tier in a second. We'll, uh, we'll go over to this page over here. You guys will see. Uh, this is the Smogon page, but our next Pokemon here is uh, Tornadus. Adamant Orb gives it the ability No Guard, meaning that it can hit every Hurricane, every Heat Wave, and every Focus Blast. So basically, I don't have to run attack on this thing. I run it max special attack. Hurricane just hits it ridiculously hard. Uh, if you guys know, Flying Spam is such a good thing. Uh, in any metagame, so this is, uh, this is a really powerful set. Uh, being able to click Hurricane and not worrying about it missing is so, so cool. Uh, so this is uh, the Tornadus that we have. Obviously, U-Turn is there for momentum. Next Pokemon is actually one of the best Pokemon in this metagame, uh, is Dragonite. Air Balloon gives it the ability Aerialate, so that turns Extreme Speed into a... Uh, into a flying move so it gets the stab bonus and it gets the aerialate boost So it, it gives Dragonite a flying move and on top of that it's plus two priority it makes this thing one of the best revenge killers in this metagame better than Alakazam better than uh, Talonflame it's better than all of them because it has a, a plus two priority move so um, it's about as strong with Adam and Nature. It's about as strong as Bandit Entei's E speed. So it's uh, it might even be stronger because it's actually stab. Yeah, it's, it's definitely stronger. Uh, I'm able to knock out like a minus one Cloyster after a shell smash from like 70%, which is ridiculous because Cloyster actually has really good defense. And that's unboosted that I'm talking about. We're running Outrage because Outrage is really good for sweeping teams that don't have fairies. And Fire Punch to be able to hit things like Ferrothorn. A lot of Ferrothorns are running Flash Fire, which is really cool. But um, Fire Punch just hits. Uh, some cool stuff uh, in the tier. I might swap it out for Earthquake if I find that too many quad fire weeks are running um, Flash Fire. But our next Pokemon here is Volcanion Repeat Ball. Uh, you thought Water Absorb was bad? Give it Water Absorb and Volt Absorb. That's what this thing is right here. I found that the team was a little bit electric weak, so I decided to give myself a, uh, a Water Absorb Pokemon. Uh, sorry, a Volt Absorb Pokemon. So uh, this thing's carrying Steam Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Sludge Bomb. Your typical Volcanion set, but it's a very good wall breaker nonetheless, even without the Specs boost. Just run it modest. I run a little bit of speed to outspeed uh, Rotom Wash. Um, the typical Rotom Wash set, like 209 speed. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much that. And then we have, this is one of the best Pokemon in this tier as well. This thing is ridiculous ridiculously bulky like you guys know Zapdos to be bulky this variant is disgustingly good like let me just uh, actually make it bold here but um, Thunderbolt and Heatwave are to be able to hit pretty much anything uh, Roost and Defog but the Grepa Berry gives it Delta Stream and if you guys don't know what Delta Stream is it's Mega Rayquaza's ability where anything that would normally be super effective on flying types is no longer super effective so basically Zapdos has no weakness which is insane. It's so hard to kill this thing. Like, I was trying to use my Excadrill's Rock Slide. I was doing 25% to this. I was not able to, uh, to, to dent it at all. Um, that's why I decided to uh, swap out uh, Excadrill is because Zapdos is actually a really good Pokemon in this tier. Uh, in this format, rather, in this metagame. 
but I gave it uh, Heat Wave. My opponent had Toxic over Heat Wave. I didn't agree with that because you're not able to hit ground types at all with this set if you're carrying Toxic. Uh, well, ground and steel, like Extra Drill, or like Steelix, anything like that, so. Decided to swap it up. Excadrill is a serious threat, as you guys will see here. It's an A plus rank. Uh, give it speed boost. Give it uh, sand stream, which is really cool. You don't even have to rely on Titar. Uh, water absorb means that it can take Aqua Jet from Zumaril. Uh, Refrigerate is really cool too, because you're giving it uh, stab uh, ice type moves. So uh, if you give it a return, which is awesome, you're able to hit like Landorus and. Uh, Garchomp for quad effective damage. Uh, our last Pokemon here is Empoleon, and uh, if you guys saw the title of the team, Razor Claw gives you the ability Illusion, and this is pretty much my Dragonite counter. I want to come in with this thing, uh, pretend that I'm Heracross uh, on a Dragonite that I don't know that Dragonite gets uh, a quad effective E speed on me, and knock it out with an Ice Beam. That's the point of this thing. Uh, also, this thing can catch a lot of things off guard if I pretend to be Heracross. Uh, very physically defensive Pokemon like let's say Fortress or Hippowdon that would normally be able to take the hit and hit me back. Uh, I can go for Scald, I can go for Grass Knot on like Swampert and uh, a lot of different things. So that's uh, max special attack modest. Uh, I know this is a very long intro guys but this is a new tier so I'm just going over the team a little bit because you guys aren't going to know what the items are. This is brand new. Uh, this is this is really cool. This is awesome and I'm going to... I'm gonna really enjoy playing this tier right here. Uh, I did get a couple of points on the ladder before uh, before starting this, so there's actually not a lot of people playing this. Uh, you guys will see in a second. If I go to enchanted items, there's only five battles going on right now, so this might take a while. Uh, let's just watch one in the meantime, uh, just so I can show you guys uh, how this is. See, now this guy has a Dusk Ball Swoobat, which means uh, this is a speed boost Swoobat. Uh, it also goes up by two speed every turn because of the uh, his first ability, which is simple. So that's actually a really cool set. I like that a lot. Uh, but he is going to lose right here. Uh, it seems like Stored Power is going to do a little bit. Not enough, though. And Sludge Bomb is going to be able to take him out. So that's, uh, that's a win for Marvello over here. Uh, and uh, we finally got a game. Now, Weavile is actually also a very big threat because it can run Refrigerate. And that means that it's Fake Out plus Return is doing so much damage to a lot of Pokemon. So you got to be very careful with that. I don't know if putting Empoleon last actually, because I don't know if it's going to ask me to, to sort them. So I'm actually going to put Empoleon first from now on. But um, let's lead with uh, Zapdos because it doesn't have a weakness. And uh, yeah, Empoleon's not going to be hidden uh, right now. Its special attack goes up by one. What does that mean? Uh, I actually can't hit this thing because it's a flying type and my own ability is hindering me from being able to hit it super effective. What does Habanberry do? Why is his special attack up? I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt. He's going to go for the U-turn. We're not static or anything, but uh, he's more than likely going to go out into... Oh, Volcanion. Okay. Uh, he decided to give it a Shookaberry, which is... Uh, it's not Volt Absorb. Um, it's Lightning Rod. So his special attack goes up. But uh, on this thing, I'm feeling kind of safe going out into my own Volcanion right here. Uh, I don't think he can really touch us. We'll see, though. He goes for the Sludge Bomb. Good play. Uh, we are modest, so we, not, we might not outspeed this thing. I'm um, kind of just tempted to go for an Earth Power anyway, as we do, and we are able to hit this thing uh, super effectively. He's going to knock us out with the Sludge Bomb right there, but that's not really going to matter, because you guys are about to see this destruction that is Heracross. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I'm going to go for the knockoff, because it should be able to knock this thing out. I also want to potentially get Landorus' item off. Uh, actually, I can't knock off an item, can I? Uh, Moxie, Mummy, uh, I don't get the... I get the speed boost, but... That's actually not going to matter because another knockoff is going to be able to take him out right here. We did lose the Moxie, so we're not going to keep that, but uh, able to take out the Cofagragus, which is actually a pretty big issue uh, to Dragonite, so that's kind of good. Uh, Landorus decides to come in, gets the Intimidate off. I don't know what its other ability is. It's probably Aerialate, so I'm just going to go into Zapdos right here. He can't hit me hard with a Stone Edge. He can't really do anything to me, so uh, Zapdos is the best play. Uh, the reason I'm not running Hidden Power Ice on this thing is obviously because of... Um, my own ability as well, so I'm just going to defog right here. He's going to go for the U-turn. That doesn't bother me at all. The Delta Stream is going to help out so much, guys. Uh, he's going to go into Volcanion. I'm going to get the defog off, and now I don't really have a good switch into uh, Steam Eruption, which is kind of unfortunate. He also cannot miss it if I go into Tornadus. That's kind of bad. What should we do here? Um, Heat Wave is going to do nothing. I cannot stay in on this thing. Uh, that's the problem. I am going to go Tornadus here. We don't have a lot of, we have no spit F investment, but uh, we should be able to take this. He does not get a burn, which is nice, as I will be able to freely hurricane my opponent's team. 
and uh, do a lot of damage to something. Uh, not There's nothing on his team that's going to take this very well. Not his own Tornadus, not anything. So we are able to get rid of the Volcanion. We still have our Regenerator. We don't lose our initial ability. We just gain a second one. So uh, if the Weavile comes in, I'm swapping directly into Empoleon. And uh, here we go. Let's get out of here. I'm not staying in on this thing. For some reason, they, they don't run Pursuit. He goes for Frustration. That's not going to do anything. That's Refrigerate Boosted, guys, if you couldn't tell. Uh, I am just going to get Brox right here. He could have the Low Kick. Uh, and that's going to hurt, but he's going to go into Conkeldur instead. And again, I can just freely go into Zapdos now. Like, this thing cannot do anything to Zapdos. You guys will see right here if he decides to go for an Ice Punch or whatever. Uh, he goes for the Thunder Punch. That is going to do nothing. Uh, that weakened the attack because I'm, it still technically hits flying types. So I'm just going to go for the Roost right here. Gain back all this health. My opponent's going to go for an Ice Punch. Get a crit right there. Very unfortunate. And uh, I'm just going to Roost again. Honestly, um, we lose our flying typing on the turn that we roost, so his ice punch is doing a little bit more. Uh, but I'm gonna go for roost one more time just to uh, to get up to as high health as possible. My opponent just keeps deciding to ice punch. I'm just gonna T bolt right here. You'll see that his ice punch is gonna be doing about the same amount of damage. He actually goes for a drain punch on that turn, which is funny. Uh, I'm just gonna thunderbolt again. I don't need this thing anymore per se. As he goes for another drain punch, and now he could actually knock us out with a mock punch. So what I'm gonna do is. I'm going to swap into Heracross, I think, on this turn. Yep, there we go, that should do. And uh, my opponent is going to go for a Mach Punch indeed, and we are going to be able to close combat right here. As he decides to switch out into Landorus, which is a good play, not allowing me to get the Moxie boost, but his Landorus actually gets crit right there. We do 52% to it. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, our attack did go down, so I don't think a Stone Edge is going to be able to knock him out. Uh, it might, though. Let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Uh, we get another crit. Oh my god, that sucks. I'm sorry, dude. Um, and this should do it, because we are plus two speed. Uh, he can have fake out, though. I'm just going to switch into Empoleon. I'm expecting him to fake out right here. He does fake out. Wait, I... Okay, cool. Woo! I thought that was Tornadus for a second. <laughs> I got scared. Oh, man. Alright, so we're just going to freely Scald right here. He cannot do anything to us. He already showed that he didn't have low kick, so... Uh, we are going to be able to uh, potentially burn something here. If he goes into Tornadus, then I can just Ice Beam after. Uh, Conkeldur is not taking a max special attack Scald. Um, oh, this is the guy that we just watched, actually. We got a battle against him. That's funny. All right, so uh, he said hello. All Of all Mons, <laughs> he doesn't understand why this is Illusion. For d Knight. Ice Beam. Pretend to be Hera. There we go. Misordered it, though. Yeah, so I think we have to put Hera across last, actually. Uh, so I'm going to put him at the end of the party so that Empoleon becomes him. Uh, it's always going to be the last Pokemon in the party, and I think, uh, well, no, because Tornadus wasn't the last one. There we go. All right, so the uh, Tornadus does come in with its plus one attack. I'm assuming a superpower is coming my way. Um, I think I'm just going to za sack off Zapdos right here to this thing as he goes for the superpower. There we go. And uh, now we can go freely into... I feel like Dragonite is probably my best play. Yeah, definitely. Um, Fake Out is going to hurt from, uh, from Weavile, it will not take us out. He is minus one defense, so I am just going to E-speed this thing. As you guys will see, that'll take it right out. That's not Bandit, guys. That's Aerialate Boosted. That's insane. Oh my god, this thing is so strong. I love it. <laughs> Dragonite just became, like, the biggest threat in this metagame. Oh, man. Alright, so that's, uh, that's fun. Let's see if we can actually disguise Empoleon as Heracross this time. It doesn't ask you to order your party as it would normally do with, um, with Zoroark, so it's a little... It sucks, but uh, we'll uh, we'll get through it. <laughs> Empoleon's gonna disguise itself as, as something, but uh, no, this is looking like a pretty solid team. I like it. I like it a lot. As uh, my opponent is rocking with the uh, the Rotom Wash, which is probably Intimidate. Porygon Z, guys. Porygon Z is stupid broken in this tier, in this metagame. Excuse me. It's stupid broken because it can get adaptability plus Protean. So it becomes the type of move that it's going for, be it Thunderbolt, uh, be it Ice Beam. Luckily, we are Volt Absorb Volcanion, so we should be able to take that thing on. Um, I'm just going to actually lead with Tornadus, I think is fine. Yeah, Tornadus is fine. 
as my opponent leads with Infernape. We have 100% accurate Hurricanes on deck, so we are just going to go for that. Uh, if he's uh, Scarfed or whatever, then we'll deal with it, but he does switch into Rotom. He takes the Hurricane uh, like nothing, and I'm assuming this thing is probably Scarfed because he didn't show any kind of... Um... We actually wall with Volcanion, I just thought about it. <laughs> yeah, let's just go into it. Um, he didn't show any kind of recovery, so uh, he's going to switch in into Celebi right there. Okay, interesting play. Um... Celebi can not hit me for super effective damage. I'm just going to throw off a flamethrower as he goes for a leech seed. Uh, this flamethrower is not going to do too much, actually. I don't know why. Maybe it's heat proof. Um, kind of feel like throwing out a sludge bomb at this point, which might be my best play. Might also want to switch out. Not sure. He knows that I'm uh, more than likely going for flamethrower. So, yeah, I'm just going to go into tornadoes here because I can also U-turn on this thing should he decide to stay in, as he does, which is awesome. Um, we can also just throw off a, a hurricane, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I had a magic guard initially on Volcanion, which was kind of cool. Uh, my opponent chooses to go into Scizor and gets crit, uh, and confused, so very unfortunate for him. I'm just going to go into Zapdos on this thing, I hard wall it, um, every day of the week. This is standard OU stuff right here. Uh, we are going to get the Delta stream up, and, uh, my opponent's going to swap out into Infernape. Uh, this thing also cannot damage me too hard. I'm just going to Roost to see what he wants to do. He's going to go for the Flare Blitz. It's going to do 41%, which is a good amount, but uh, with the Roost, we're fine to take two, actually. I'm going to Defog right here, get rid of my opponent's rocks. I can also Heat Wave the Celebi when it comes in. Uh, Celebi does come in. Uh, and I am just going to Heat Wave right here, weaken it a little bit more. This is a really fun team, guys. Uh, I urge you to try out this metagame. And, uh, oh my god, that did nothing. Yeah, this is definitely uh, Heat Proof. Something like that. Um, just going to defog again as my opponent goes for the leech seed. And now I'm going to swap out into Tornadus again because I lose nothing from it. Uh, every time Tornadus comes in, it just clicks Hurricane and nukes something. Uh, as my opponent goes for Stealth Rock and we're going to Hurricane again. Uh, he cannot risk me U-turning, so I don't see him staying in here. Uh, he does choose to go out into Scizor to sack it. There we go. We are going to land the Hurricane, of course, because we can't miss. And... Um, Again, Porygon Z does not touch Volcanion, ever, at all. Like, tri is going to hurt if he decides to go for it, but he goes for Ice Beam, that's going to turn him into an Ice type. It's actually going to do 18%, and I'm assuming he's going to try to go for the Electric move right here when his best play is actually to go for the, um, the tri attack And I'm going to blow this thing back with an Earth Power. He actually goes for Dark Pulse, okay. And he's going to crit us. <laughs> Alright, well, I stand corrected. Um, this thing is more than likely faster than us, but he cannot stay in on a Tornadus' U-turn, can he? Or even Focus Blast, for that matter. Yeah, I'm just going for Focus Blast. We outspeed this thing and we, uh, we annihilate it with a Focus Blast. We always hit Focus Blast as well, which is cool. As we are going to hit the Infernape right there, we're going to crit it and knock it out. We're not Scope Lens or anything, guys. Uh, we've just been getting kind of lucky on this game. He's Regenerator Rotom, uh, so that explains that because we did damage this earlier, so we know that. I am just going to go for the U-turn right here. Unfortunately, we lost our hard counter to this, but I can just go into Zapdos right here. Uh, the Delta Stream will reduce the damage from the um, from the Volt Switch. As you guys will see right there, it only does 11%. It would normally do about 22, so that's pretty good. And um, I'm assuming Porygon Z, yep, there we go. And I think I just want to defog, or try to, as that's never going to happen, but... Um, when it goes for the Ice Beam, it's going to knock us out for sure. And uh, again, I think I can just go Torn and click Focus Blast once again. Um, alternatively, Heracross isn't bad, but he can have... I mean, that's just going to hurt, right? <laughs> I don't really want to do that. Um, let's go... Yeah, let's go Torn. And let's click Focus Blast again. Um, because nothing wants to come in on this. At all, on his team. Uh, Dragonite decides to come in on the focus. It's going to take a little bit. We would die to an Aerialate, um, an Aerialate, excuse me, extreme speed. So I am going to swap out here. I'm going to bring in Empoleon. Unfortunately, these rocks are here to stay, which breaks our multi scale on our Dragonite. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. Dragonite is not just Aerialate, it's also multi scale. So it goes through the extreme speed, Illusion. Th Betty thought he had knocked us out there. That's not going to happen. That actually still does 31%, which is really scary. Uh, I'm just going to get up my rocks right here as he goes for an Earthquake and knocks us out. All right. Um, I have to go into my own Dragonite right here. Both, both of our multi-scales are broken, so I don't know if he's going to want to actually like stay in here um, to risk me Dragon Dancing on him, and he does, which is surprising. Uh, goes for the Dragon Claw. Okay, so he's not locked into Outrage either. 
Uh, I have to hope that his uh, extreme speed doesn't knock us out. We are not minus defense nature, which is nice. Uh, e speed does knock us out, and that's going to be the game. As you can see, guys, Dragonite is just such a threat. Um, so, yeah, I think I am going to swap my, um, my Fire Punch for EQ after seeing that. Um, I don't know why you would run Fire Punch if, like, every quad fire week in the metagame would be able to, uh, to stop that. But, anyway... Um, Blissey is a, oh my god, Blissey is so annoying, and I thought you could run, like, Steel Gem on this thing to make it, um, Wonder Guard, so you could only hit it with Fighting-type moves, which would be absolutely ridiculous, but, uh, luckily, uh, luckily Wonder Guard is banned, so <laughs> we don't have to deal with that. Uh, I think I'm just going to lead with, um, Tornadus again. Tornadus is just such a solid lead. My opponent chooses to lead with Landorus. Um, I'm just gonna Hurricane here. I uh, don't really care what this thing wants to go for. If he wants to go for the Stone Edge, so be it. He goes for the rocks, and we are going to be able to Hurricane again. No problem hitting. He does go into Blissey right here. It's going to do 14%, which is pretty much nothing. Uh, I'm curious. Focus Blast would do how much? Let's see. Uh, he goes, swaps out into Landorus. Okay, it's Regenerator, which is annoying. Um, would his Blissey be Regenerator as well? I don't know. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna Hurricane again, honestly. Just potentially confuse something. He wants to switch back into Blissey. Okay, so he goes into Mew, which is nice. It's gonna take 41%. I'm gonna U-turn out here. If he's Regenerator on anything, on everything, I'm gonna be really upset. Uh, he lets his Mew take the U-turn. That took absolutely nothing from that. Uh, but I am just gonna go into Heracross right here, I think. Uh, he might go for the Will-O-Wisp, so I'm kind of worried about that. I'm just gonna go into Volcanion, actually take the stealth rocks damage he goes for zap cannon <laughs> and we get the volt absorb oh my god that was so good <laughs> i can't believe that just happened that was so awesome okay he brings in blissey i could have doubled there into heracross but i didn't really want to okay we see he's not regenerator which is nice uh we can just go for steam eruption again try to get a burn off on this thing as we do actually which is cool he still has the uh did you forget i was volt absorb bro uh obviously i'm gonna switch into heracross right here as uh yeah, he forgot. He says, I forgot. <laughs> he can't do anything to this Volcanion, barring um, hitting it with a um, uh, with a Seismic Toss, so that's kind of nice. As now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Stone Edge on his switch into the Landorus, and we're going to get off a lot of damage right here because we're max attack. Uh, never mind, <laughs> he's obviously max defense. Uh, let's go for the knockoff. Uh, actually, I don't think that'll work. So let's go for Stone Edge. That's the one downside of this, is that knockoff as a move is completely nullified. My opponent goes for the U-turn, and uh, he's going to keep being able to come back into Landorus and gaining back health, so this isn't smart of me to stay in here. He's going to go into Dragonite. I'm going to go into Empoleon right here and uh, take uh, this E-Speed with ease uh, as we reveal ourselves to be Volcanion. He obviously knows this is not Volcanion, so he has to uh, he has to assume that this is Empoleon. Um... If he is Earthquake, though, I think he knocks us out. Let's try to Ice Beam, though. Um, we reveal the illusion, and yeah, that's going to knock us out. Okay. All right, so <laughs> that doesn't work out as I planned. See, D9 is just such a problem, guys. It's so annoying. Um, let's go for the Thunderbolt and try to get a para, I guess. I don't know. Uh, he goes for the Extreme Speed. It's not going to 2 hit KO, which is nice, as that's going to do absolutely nothing as well. I'm going to Roost. Um, he's probably going to... Does he have an Outrage on this thing? Let's find out. He could also just E-Speed again. He's going to Dragon Dance, okay. Alright, so that means he probably has nothing to hit us with outside of E-Speed. Which seems to be the case, as you can see. Uh, we're going to try to para this thing. I mean, that's really all I can do. Uh, I'm just going to Roost again as he Dragon Dances again. And I'm going to Thunderbolt. And this time, if we don't get the para, we're done. So, uh, that's going to be uh, crit right there. Uh, we're going to get the uh, Thunderbolt off. And we are not going to be able to para, unfortunately. And this thing is pretty much going to sweep us at this point. So, uh, that's GG. Gonna leave it there. So, D Knight is obviously a bigger problem than I thought for this team. Empoleon is not the counter. Uh, we need a different steel type uh, that gets Ice Beam that can also uh, not be hit by Earthquake. So, what could we use? That is the question. Let's find out right away. Let's, let's find out together. What can we use as a steel type that is not affected by Earthquake? So, Levitator, obviously. Um, does any steel type get levitate? I don't think so. I mean, they get magnet rise and stuff, but um, what could take this? What gets an ice type move? 
This is, these are all questions, guys. These are all questions <laughs> that we need answers to right here. Um, oh, Levitate Bronzong could work. Do you get Ice Beam? Do you get Ice Beam? You do not. You get, hidden, you get Hidden Power Ice and Gyro Ball, though. Gyro Ball could be good. Go, like, Min Speed. Um, max Defense, I guess. And uh, do that. Do that. Not let this thing get weakened throughout the game. What could we give this thing as a secondary ability as well? We have Levitate and... And what? Um, hmm. Could we go Levitate Heatproof? That might work. <laughs> give it no weaknesses. Except the Dark, of course. Um, not sure. So let's go Gyro. We're gonna do Gyro Ball. You know what, guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure out this set on my own, and then I'll come back to you and show you guys in a sec. Alright guys, so <laughs> I decided to go with an Enigma Berry, which turns this thing into a Refrigerate Pokemon, kind of like Weavile, which is really nice, uh, as Frustration will be able to Oko a Dragonite even from full, I believe, uh, with no attack investment. That's a very, very powerful Ice-type move. Uh, basically, base 102 plus the boost puts it at about 130. Uh, so we can run this Calc right now. Let's, let's actually do that. Let's see together. Uh, no attack Bronzong with Refrigerate. This is going to be a little bit weird, but let's calc with the multi-scale as well. So Dragon Knight. Dragon Knight OU Dragon Dance with its multi-scale active against Bronzong. Uh, are you specially defensive? We are physically defensive to take on Dragon Knight and its E-Speed. Um, as you can see, if we go 252 here, and we go bold, and we go uh, and change his extreme speed to a... Uh, well, let's just give him the ability... Uh, well, we're not going to take this off. Let's make Extreme Speed a flying-type move. Flying, flying, flying. There we go. And we're going to make this uh, base, let's say, 105. So his Extreme Speed is doing 18 to 21 to us, which is not a lot at all. And now let's give this thing the ability Refrigerate. Refrigerate. And give it... Um, where's Return? Return... As you can see, that's uh, with the multi-scale, it's doing half. Without the multi-scale, if we get off a little bit of damage prior, it's an Oko. Uh, we're also packing Explosion, because I just want to refrigerate Explode on something. That's going to do so much damage to, to anything, basically. Anything that the rest of the team can't handle, I mean. Uh, we can deal with Steel types pretty well, uh, between Volcanion and Zapdos, and Heracross as well, so... Uh, that's, uh, let's, let's try it out like this. Let's see, uh, if it makes a difference. My opponent's packing an Avalug, which is really annoying. Uh, probably a Flashfire Ferrothorn right there. Uh, Rotom Heat with, uh, God knows what ability. Um, let's lead with Tornadus. It's pretty solid, overall. Um, I can also lead with Bronzong. Yeah, let's lead with Bronzong, because it actually counters the, uh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it counters the, um, the Lanterus really nicely. Sheer Force Adaptability. <laughs> Probably. Uh, let's go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, we can pretty much wall this thing with, uh, with Volcanion. Pretty hard. And uh, I'm probably just going to go into Volcanion right here, actually. Seems pretty solid. He goes for a Crunch, so good play. Um, could switch into Heracross if I wanted to. He doesn't have plus speed, so I think I'm just going to Steam Erupt as he crunches again. That's fine. I don't need Volcanion for anything. I am now going to go into Zapdos here. Threaten him out immediately with the Thunderbolt. And, uh... Probably just gonna go for a Heat Wave to be able to hit anything, honestly. No, let's go for Thunderbolt. He goes for a Waterfall, that's gonna do a lot. Uh, good thing I Thunderbolted. Never mind, he's... Wait, what? Weakness Policy gives you what? What the heck is Weakness Policy? What did that just ha- What just happened? Weakness... Hold on. Let me just do Control F for Weakness Policy. Motor drive. Oh, no. Oh, no. We just lost to a Feraligator. I'm gonna roost. Uh, he goes for Ice Punch. That's fine. Um, what can I do against this thing, man? It's plus two attack. It's gonna take out Heracross right away, isn't it? Uh, it's gonna take out Dragonite as well at plus two. Uh, I'm just gonna go into Heracross and hope for the best. With the speed boost, we should be able to outspeed him after, though. So let's go for the close combat as he goes for Waterfall. That's gonna knock us straight out. Come on, man. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy. Anything can happen in this uh, in this meta game, honestly. Uh, he was uh, faster than us, so that's going to be a loss right there. Let's pick up another one. Let's see if we can do it this time. 
uh, be a little bit safer. I played this guy already a little bit earlier, actually. I know his team. Uh, he replaced something with Polyrath and Magnazone. Those weren't there before. They look out of place, too. Um, Tornadus is just the best lead overall. Focus Blast the Magnazone, Hurricane, Hurricane, Focus Blast, Hurricane, Hurricane. Just destroys his entire team, honestly. So, this one's looking, uh, this one's looking a lot easier than the others. I shouldn't have let that for alligator set up, honestly. And I wasn't expecting motor drive either. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Uh, he leads with Entei, uh, as he normally does. I'm expecting a Sacred Fire to come out. And I'm just gonna switch into Volcanion, which he does not have a switch to on his entire team. Uh, he's actually Intense Sun, uh, Venusaur, if I recall correctly. So I'm actually gonna throw out a, a Flamethrower here, guys. Uh, as he goes into Venusaur directly, nice. <laughs> Grip Claw. Goodbye! <laughs> Venusaur's gone. Alright, so, um, knowledge of your opponent uh, and their team often helps. Axorus comes in. I'm not too worried about this thing. I can just go into uh, Bronzong on this, actually, and just, uh, <laughs> we're gonna use Return for the first time, guys, right here. Um, yeah, let's go for it. It should be able to knock this out. If it knocks out a Dragonite, then it definitely knocks this out. Wait, what? Oh, he's Mold Breaker, right? He hits us. Never mind. Uh, forgot about that part. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, he probably can't knock out Dragonite, right? Not from full. Let's find out. Dragonite uh, against Haxorus at plus one. Haxorus. Uh, double Dance. Let's say Dragon Claw. Uh, nope, never mind. <laughs> We're not living. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. He's at plus one speed. He's definitely outspeeding anything that we send out. Let's go into Zapdos, because uh, what I'm going to do is just weaken this thing. I was not expecting uh, that Earthquake to kill either. That did so much. Why did that do 100%? <laughs> why? Bronzong. Why, why, why did you not take that, man? Why did you not take that? Let's find out. 252 bold. I want to see the calc on that. Just to see if we had a chance to live. Bold versus Hax versus Earthquake. Yeah, we should... Like, even Adamant plus one? He, he needed, like, an absolute max roll. Not even. How did he knock us out? What happened? Hold on a second. Earthquake. Oh, right, he's Protean. Uh, we go for Thunderbolt as he goes for a Dragon Dance and turns himself into a Dragon. I'm just going to Thunderbolt again. He's going to go for the uh, Shadow Claw, which is going to crit us. Uh, we're going to get another Thunderbolt off right here. He was a Ghost type that time, which is nice. Uh, I'm fine sacking this off. Uh, I've got a Dragonite in the back to E-speed this, so uh, goodbye, Haxorus. And um, Magnazone. Magnazone can't come in on me either, though. Like, let's be honest, I have Earthquake on this thing, so... Polyrath doesn't like taking the E-speed. Uh, neither does Cloyster, as I found out. Uh, it really doesn't appreciate it, so... I gotta be careful, though. I could still lose to Cloyster. Uh, I, I need damage on it. I need ab I absolutely need damage on it. Um, so I would need to probably E-speed it first, switch out, and then come back into Dragonite uh, afterwards. Wait, no, I don't need to do that. What am I saying? Uh, but I need to be careful with it. I can't let it sweep me. He's gonna let his Haxorus go down right there. Um, if his Cloyster comes in, I think I have to E-speed, because I can't let it set up. Magnazone actually chooses to come in, which is slower than me, and I can Earthquake. So I'm expecting an electric move to come out here, or an ice type move, uh, as he goes for hidden power ice. Yep, that's what it looks like. And uh, right here, I'm actually going to double into Tornadus on this thing. Uh, actually, he might not be uh, choiced. So let's just throw off a sludge bomb, just to test the waters, as he uh, is indeed choiced. He's thick club to give himself heavy rain, okay. And uh, this can't really touch me either outside of fighting moves. I'm going to swap into Tornadus, I think. Yeah, Tornadus is fine. As he goes for a Waterfall, that's going to do a lot of damage, but now we get off a free Hurricane right here on anything on his team, and we pretty much knock something out other than Magnazone. Luckily, we have the Regenerator as well. Oh, he's Swift Swim, that's right. No, never mind. Um, did he go for Waterfall on my Volcanion? Why? That's what I'm having a hard time understanding right now. Like, why would you do that? Um... I guess I'll just throw out another Sludge Bomb right here. He goes for the Brick Break this time, so good play. Uh, I guess he predicted me to switch out into Tornadus. Uh, I'm just going to... Earth Power does the same amount, so Earth Power is pretty safe. We are able to get rid of the Polyrath. I just wanted to cover the switch into Magnazone and Entei if he decided to switch out into those. If he goes into Cloyster, I am definitely just... 
uh, clicking Steam Eruption. Uh, Entei comes out. Pretty scary. Can definitely uh, destroy me. Let's see. Do I just win with Dragonite? I have to be cautious about this. Uh, I am just going to go for Steam Eruption as he goes for E-Speed, which is interesting because now I can actually go into Heracross. Wait, he's not banded. Hold on a second. That might have been a misplay right there. He's not banded. I'm going to go for Stone Edge as he goes for Sacred Fire. Yeah, he wasn't banded. All right. Uh, D-Knight is our only way to win. He has to not burn us right here. I have to go for Dragon Dance, and he has to not burn us. Uh, and he does, so that's uh, very unfortunate. I'm going to Earthquake right here. Knock this thing out. Uh, or not. <laughs> that's not enough. As he goes for a sub, actually. Okay, so good play. I'm just going to Earthquake again. He's going to E-Speed more than likely. Or not. Uh, he went for the Iron Head instead. Okay. Just going to E-Speed, get as, as many kills as we can. I don't know why I didn't think about Mold Breaker. Uh, or Swift Swim. Or anything like that. But uh, I could have switched into Volcanion on his uh, Polyrath when um, Tornadus was low. But uh, we didn't do that, so... Um, Okay, he's uh, Levitate Magnezone. Awesome. All right, <laughs> that's that's a cool ability, bringing Levitate on Magnezone to, to eliminate its quad weakness, giving it only really one weakness to, uh, well, two, fighting in fire. Very nice. I'm going to try to get one more. This is a little bit of a longer live, guys, just because it's, I'm new to the tier, and I, uh, to the metagame, rather, again, and I just want to get some footholding in it. And uh, it's hard. It's hard when you're when you're new to something. And a, a couple of people have been playing this for a few days now. I don't even know how long the metagame has been out, but uh, people have definitely been getting used to it. So um, this is uh, it, it's a pretty solid team, I think. Uh, you just have to play correctly and uh, and recognize your win conditions, not let them go down to stupid stuff like forgetting Swift Swim, things like that. So, uh, but I definitely think uh, I think we got a pretty solid team on our hands. Uh, Zapdos, Zapdos is very strong, it's just that I'm, I'm finding a hard time hitting things back that I'm switching into. <laughs> Even with Thunderbolt and Heat Wave, it's kind of hard. But, um, I'm just gonna pause it here until we get our very last game, guys, won't be very long. Alright guys, it's been a couple of minutes and I haven't been able to find any battles, so I guess, uh, night night to this tier. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we weren't able to pick up as many wins as I would have liked, but we gained a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience in the tier, which I think is more valuable than wins. Uh, just, um, learning the, uh, the way the metagame functions and, uh, what's good, what's not. Like, that Haxorus set is really cool with Protean, it becomes extremely volatile, like, you can't even send out a Levitator against it, as we saw with Bronzong, but, uh, that's it, guys, if you enjoyed this, if you want to see more of this, hit like down below, let me know in the comments as well, down below, uh, or in the description, uh, my Twitter is there, my Facebook is there, be sure to follow both those pages, and, uh, yeah, guys, that's, that's pretty much it for episode one of Enchanted Items, I will catch you guys later, ciao.